Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm your host, Valerie Ortiz. Up next is the story of a character actress who did not follow her dreams till she was all of 30 years old. Now, as an actress myself, I can tell you that Breaking into television and film is not typically something that happens overnight. It takes hard work, preparation, and usually audition after audition before you can just catch that break. Not to be deterred, Marlene Forte not only established herself as one of the most dependable Latina supporting actresses around, she also proved perseverance pays no matter when you start your journey. Check this out. We found this cell phone on him after the blast received a call on it from some guy claiming responsibility. Said he had a message for you. Even as Marlene Forte struggled with a late start, a family and people around her who just didn't quite understand her dreams, she never stopped chasing them. And it was not long before she started to do what had seemingly been impossible, make it as a working actress. Thank you so much for letting them come over. Letting them? Honey, this is your house too, and your friends are always welcome here. I probably would have been dead if, if I didn't have a kid this early just because I'm Cuban and I'm fast and furious. So I had my daughter when I was a freshman in college, and I thought, oh my God, I, and everyone's like, yeah, you're not gonna finish school. And acting wasn't even a verbal thought. And I finished my college in four years, and then I wanted to do that for mom and dad, like a good Cuban, you know, I had to get through school. I was my first, I am the first person to graduate from college in my family. And then I was 21 and I looked at my husband and at the time and said, I, I want to be an actor. And you want two more kids, it's not gonna work. My career started with a little 16 millimeter movie that I shot on short ends. I raised $61,000, it's called Lena's Dreams. And I, that's what jump started my career. That's what bought me, because I couldn't get arrested as a legit actor. I was doing really well commercially in New York. Now, with the web and the new media, it's that much easier. Have you been sleeping? You look tired. Nada de preguntas topicas. I heard what you said. My first role that I really, really loved and was very excited about was um, the role that I played on Real Women Have Curves. And she's not a role really that's in the play. And I'm married to a theater, uh, a play right now. So I love the theater. I come from the theater originally. So that's one of my very first most memorable roles. <clears throat> Mr. Bobby wants to see you. Miss Anne is gone. Dallas was easy. My manager sent me this. He was like, oh my God, there's this great role and it's Dallas. And I was like, Dallas, wow, I love Dallas. What do, Dallas, what could I be in Dallas? Latino, oh, it's, it's just the housekeeper. And I was like, that's it. <laughs> Leave it to John Ross to get you a diamond the color of oil. <laughs> be nice. Mm. No, I like it. <laughs> So, but it was like that. It was like, I read it, I went in the next day and I did my thing and, I, and, and it was just kind of like um, Cinderella's slipper a little bit, I think. It was just waiting for me, that role. I had a lot of fun. I had a blast working in that story and it was an education. That's the other thing is that there's no waste of time. Everything, every day of life, every breath that you take is an education. If you look at life in that way, where nothing is a waste of time, really, my seven years of waiting tables, my seven years of the video store, my, all of that, all of that fuels my work. Nothing is a waste of time. It's just goes to my U-Haul. My U-Haul gets bigger. But again, your work, if it's good work, and you do the best work you can, it will rise to the top like cream.